Okay, everybody, we're about to get started here. My name is Richard Miller, and I uh, I just started a um, a uh, screen share, and I had to close out and reopen. So I believe some of you might have two screen shares open at the same time. I'm not exactly sure if that's the case. You want to be using the one where you could possibly see my mouse swirling around there in the middle of the screen. Okay, it looks good. Okay, Kathy, you want to, if you reset the room, Kathy, I don't want you to kick everybody, anyone out, but it seems like uh, people are okay. I'm just, con Okay, I think we're good to go now. Everyone can hear me okay, I'm sure. I'm monitoring from a separate computer, so I, let's see, everything seems to be okay. Okay, very good. All right, let's get started here. Um, let me go ahead and change the slide. I want to welcome everybody to Sterling Capital Trader. We're a support team of um, experienced traders that provide software, technology, um, all kinds of advice and, and pretty much be your consigliere to your career as a trader. Uh, we connect you with um, education providers that, such as Melissa and, um, and other sources that uh, could certainly help you uh, escalate your performance. Okay, we're going to be talking about a few different things here. And what I'm going to try my best to do is I'm going to, well, if for those of you who haven't done it yet, why don't you go ahead and maximize of uh, your presentation screen because there might be some stuff at the bottom that might be falling off the screen so i'm not sure of your uh, size resolution and um, for those of you who have very tight resolution you may want to lower uh from one time down to say three quarter two thirds but i believe everybody should be able to see everything okay um i have a lot of topics to discuss so what i'm going to do is this everyone i'm going to go through the topics as quickly as possible and I'm going to save the questions for the end, um, but I don't want you to wait uh, till the end of the presentation uh, for you to actually ask your questions because you might forget what they are. So feel free to chat your questions in the chat box, and I'm not going to be ignoring you. I see them coming in. I'm just going to wait till the end of the presentation go over them, okay? We're going to talk about Sterling Capital and what we do here. We're going to talk about Remora International, which is the prop trading firm that we would like to introduce you to. We're going to talk about the three different software providers that we provide, um, and we also uh, could give you the demo trial downloads and uh, spend some time with you over the phone or walk you through the installation process and give you some uh, pointers and things of that nature. We're going to talk about the trade restrictions of Remora International, what they require from you, their trading fees, maintenance fees, and uh, other requirements like daily max loss rules and things of that nature. And we're going to talk about how to get started. All right. Moving on. Um, Sterling Capital Trader, we offer professional trading resources for large groups and individuals. Uh, we offer technical support for software providers and technology companies. We negotiate trading deals and offer risk backing for traders. What that means is this. There are a lot of proprietary trading firms out there that just don't take on anybody. They want to see that you're qualified. They want to see that you have a track record. Sometimes they want to see your trailing 12 bank statements from your previous broker uh, to see your trading uh, style or your profits and losses. And um, uh, they need to really uh, do a vigorous vetting because they're afraid that if you trade their money, which we're going to get into in a moment, that you might lose their money. So they, they want to make sure that they have all their bases covered. Uh, going through uh, Sterling Capital, we kind of back you in addition to the backing that they give you, 
kind of like an insurance policy. <laughs> and um, and uh, we make sure that we negotiate with the providers and kind of give you like a VIP pass to get in, even though you may not have the credentials or a track record from your previous broker, things of that nature. We'll get into that more in a moment. And we connect traders to the best education providers on the net and also trading communities um, and uh, different kind of resources like that. Uh, let's move on to the next screen about Remora International. Now, Remora International is a separate company. Uh, they're one of our proprietary trading service providers, and we'll explain that a little bit more in just a moment. Um, they provide all kinds of professional trading services. They, they are a private equity trading firm, and what that means is this. They um, have a large corporate account with several broker dealers just like you would have a brokerage account at whatever firm you were at in the past. They provide you with access with your own user ID and password and your own software to log in and have access to an allocated amount of money in their account. So look at it as a sub account under a, a corporate umbrella. You understand? So it's one giant master large account with a bunch of little tiny accounts underneath it. And, um, and we're going to get more into how that works. Um, this company, Remore, was established in 1996 by expert traders um, and people in the industry who absolutely know what they're doing. They have lots and lots of experience um, getting through all kinds of turbulence in the market. For example, um, you know, the, 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 uh, the market crash or the recession after Bill Clinton left his presidency and we went through that internet bubble you know, the firm was able to weather that storm. Um, Remora also weathered 9-11 and all the other catastrophes that may have happened in the market. Um, so I believe that the, the company has a very strong hull and they're able to weather any kind of catastrophe and storm. And if they got through that, then um, I, I definitely give them thumbs up and, and look at them as one of the most reliable companies out there in the net. Um, they have bought out other prop firms over the years, other prop firms that were failing, weren't making it. Um, so uh, you may be familiar with Remora if you have a, a history of being a prop trader. Um, they're domiciled in the UK. They're outside the US, uh, which is a good thing because inside the US, there are some you know, FINRA SEC rules and restrictions that say you can't do this, you can't do that. But being that they're domiciled outside the US and the UK, they have a different set of rules, and if they hire you as a subcontractor, because that's how it actually is, is, is physically done, they hire traders as a subcontractor to trade their capital, well, they have the right to hire anybody they want to work for them. Um, and uh, and uh, th there's, no, there's no concern for any um, uh, breaking of any rules or, or anything like that. We'll get into that a little bit more later as well. Um, they hire particularly educated or experienced subcontractor traders. Uh, being that you're coming from this trading school, you're already deemed, quote unquote, a, a especially if you're a graduate, uh, you're already deemed an educated trader. Um, they feel comfortable that you know what you're doing and you're not going to be reckless and irresponsible because we are confident that Melissa showed you how to do it the right way and what not to do. And, um, and again, we negotiate here at Sterling Capital on your behalf, so we'd be able to get you the job, uh, so to speak. Um, trade their private capital, we went over that. And uh, those of you who have questions about that, uh, we'll save that for the end of the presentation. And their trading software is done through third-party trading providers, meaning that they offer the Sterling Trader Pro, they offer TurboTick, they offer DOS, Trader, which DOS is temporarily offline and will be coming back very soon. And they also offer other platforms like Diffusion and Tachyon and other ones that I don't care to get into at this point because um, either they're very expensive or they're difficult to work with for novice traders. And um, of course, they have online reporting where you log into your daily, you log into a, a website that has all of your trades, a detailed report of all your trades with a timestamp, the route that you use, your profits, losses, commissions, costs, and fees. So everything is transparent and it's just kind of like the same as having an account 
that E-Trade, Scott Trade, or Ameritrade is just that you have a bunch of benefits um, here that that uh, that are much better, and we'll get into that more in just a moment. Let's talk about the member benefits for being a uh, member or a subcontractor for Remora International. First off, you get constant cash liquidity. What that means is this. If you're allocated, let's say, $100,000, that $100,000 is not like on margin. It's cash. So if you take a position at 10 a.m. and you liquidate it at 10.20 a.m., all that cash is available immediately upon liquidation. You don't have to wait like the T plus three, or you don't have to wait like an hour or two for it to become available again. As soon as you liquidate that cash, it's immediately available within milliseconds after the liquidation. So the cash is instantly available for the next trade, all right? Uh, it eliminates the T plus three. Some of you are, are familiar with taking a round trip in a trade, especially if you're the kind of person who may hold overnight. When you liquidate that trade, you have to wait three whole business days for that cash to become available again with, uh, with Remora that doesn't happen because it's a cash account, not so much a margin account. All trades receive a larger percentage of profits, all traders I meant to say, meaning there are some firms out there that say, sure, come trade our capital, and they keep, uh, sometimes the, these firms keep up to 50%, half of whatever profits you make. Um, with Remora, they only keep a minuscule 5% of your profits. That's how they make their money. You know, let's uh, put this in perspective. Let's just say you're a part-time trader. You make $1,000 a week. Of the $1,000 that you made off of their 50000 or 100000 they only want to keep $50 of it. Um, we could even negotiate that down for you if you're a high-volume trader or whatever the situation may be to get that lower. But I think 5% to the firm is very, very generous in comparison to other um, trading service providers. Um, that's called the profit split. The percentage is typically determined by your allocation of capital and your risk parameters. Okay, trader membership rules. They do have some rules. If you are um, trading with their money, basically the way it works is like this. They give you a 10 to 1 ratio of capital allocation. Uh, and this fluctuates daily. What that means is this. Let's say somebody wants to join up and they want to trade $50,000 of the firm's cash. Well, they instantly give you this $50,000, almost like an instant credit line uh, or a loan, a daily loan without you having to uh, have good credit or qualify for it. The only thing that they ask from you is a collateral contribution of $5,000 to keep there as collateral against any damage that you might do with their money. Similar thing, if anybody ever rented a boat on vacation sometimes, you know, you have to put up $500 on your credit card just in case you damage the boat. When you bring the boat back and it's in one piece, they give you the $500 back. Well, they kind of work the same way, but in their case, it's $5,000. And if you make tons of money with their $5,000, you uh, 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 distribute or withdraw your profits on a monthly basis. When you're done trading, you want to quit. You quit any time. There is no restriction on that. And you get whatever you know, your five thousand back plus any profits or less any losses, fees, and commissions. So basically, that's how that works. And here's an illustration: if uh, somebody wants to trade a hundred thousand dollars of cash, the firm requires ten thousand dollars of capital for you to put up. And of course, that money, that ten thousand, is yours you, um, and and able to be withdrawn uh, at any time. Um, again, plus any profits you made or any losses would be taken out of the 10,000. Uh, also, any monthly software fees, which we're gonna get into, and deductions and things of that nature, get deducted from that capital that is put up, okay? 10% uh, daily max loss rule. What that means is this. If you're gonna be trading the money that belongs to somebody else, they have the right to put all kinds of restrictions on you that typically E-Trade, Scott Trade, Ameritrade would do. Um, and uh, the 10% daily max loss rule means this. If somebody is trading, say, $50,000 of the firm's capital, and they put up the 5,000, they're not allowed to lose, the trader's not allowed to lose more than five, I'm sorry, 10% of the 5,000 in one trading day, meaning they're not allowed to lose more than $500. $500 is, is a big chunk of money for a guy, who's for somebody who puts up 5,000. Most traders have a tight 
uh, daily max loss of their own, their own inner rules that cut them off at two, 300, you know, but the firm gives you 10% with 5,000 up to 500. And if the trader does uh, fails to liquidate, oh, let me back up for a second. If a trader loses more than $500, there's 5,000 in capital, they're supposed to liquidate, either cover their short or liquidate their long position immediately and stop trading for the day on their own. Um, if the trader fails to follow the rules on their own will, um, well, that's when a risk manager might uh, notify that trader and say, hey, you, you're, you're surpassed your, your daily max loss. We allowed you 20 minutes for you to piece your way out of it. You're taking too long. You have five minutes or we're going to liquidate the position on our end. Typically, that's what they would do. They don't like to step in. Um, after two or three times of stepping in like that, they might uh, put a restriction on your account, lower your buying power, or even uh, turn your, uh, or even you know, uh, um, restrict your trading privileges entirely and kick you out. So you don't want to mess with them when it comes to the daily max loss rule. Uh, no overnights. Remora Capital wants everyone to be out of all positions no later than 3.59 p.m. In fact, they don't want you to push to 3.59. They would rather you be out at least 10 minutes before the close, uh, cover your shorts, liquidate, and sell all your long positions. This way, nobody holds overnight, and they don't have to worry about a catastrophe happening in the middle of the night where you wake up in the morning and the, the stock price is less than half of what it was the day prior. Capital allocation privileges, they could be applied or revoked in, in the respect that if um, if they give you 10 times buying power and they love your trading, you're not necessarily making money on a consistent basis, but they see that you're not reckless and irresponsible. After several weeks or months of evaluation, they might bump you up to 15 times uh, uh, allocation, 15 times buying power. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but it, it does happen. If they see that you're reckless and irresponsible or they can see that you don't know what you're doing, they can cut your 10 times buying power down to eight times or six times or four or five times at any time it, uh, you know, uh, when they please because it's their money, their rules, and um, at that point you could either agree with it and uh, be on like kind of probation until you kind of gain your respect from them again or – some people would just close their trader ID and move on to someplace else. Uh, it doesn't happen often, but I do want everyone to know that it's not like E-Trade, Scott Trade, Ameritrade, a retail consumer brokerage firm where you do whatever you want. You know, they, they have some rules in place because it's their money you're trading with. Um, you're trading at your own risk. Now, this is true for any broker dealer. Like I said, either the retail consumer giants or prop firms. Trading at your own risk with technology issues means this. If you have a power outage in your neighborhood and you're in the middle of a trade and you have a hard time getting somebody on the phone or maybe you do get somebody on the phone and try to liquidate your positions and it doesn't happen in time, uh, the stock could move the opposite direction and you incur a gigantic loss. There's nothing you could do to cry foul that they didn't pick up the phone fast enough or they didn't act fast enough. It, 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 whatever the outcome is, it's on you, not on the firm, not on the technology provider, whether it's Sterling or TurboTech or whoever. It's trading at your own risk, and it's in the agreement forms that they have. Um, even if you don't have a power outage, imagine you're just trading and you're trying to uh, cover a short, and you, you're using like EdgeX or one of the other routes to cover your short, and EdgeX isn't responding quickly enough like because you know, sometimes EdgeX isn't available to cover your 1,000 shares, whatever it might be, at that particular limit order. Uh, so you all have to refresh and go through all different kinds of ways to, to get out of your position until you finally use ARCA, which is probably the most reliable route uh, out there. And, um, and if you enter your trade, even using ARCA, if you enter your trade incorrectly, you're going to get error messages, and it's just not going to go through, or it might just be pending, waiting out there to be filled if it's a limit order that's way out of the money. And again, if, if, if anything happens with the software where uh, there is a malfunction of some kind, typically on the end user, um, again, it's trade at your own risk. It's on you. 
TurboTech or Sterling cannot take responsibility for technology failure that happens on your end. Um, and uh, sometimes the technology failure is not on your end. Sometimes Arca, the actual company Arca, is offline, needs to reboot their servers, whatever's going on, and they're not available. Sometimes they have something called what, what we call uh, an electronic paper jam. And when I'll explain what that means. Everybody in this room probably experienced one time or another where you're making photocopies on a photocopy machine. Uh, if you're making 100 pages, sometimes a 20 or 30th page gets jammed. It's a paper jam in the copy machine. You've got to open it up, pull the paper out piece by piece, and get it back up and running. Well, technology and servers kind of work the same. When you have trillion, trillions of bits of data plowing through computers, through what we would consider a garden hose of, of uh, piping, you know, um, sometimes these trillions of bits of data, you know, per minute get stuck. And um, people call it a glitch. There's all different kind of names for it, but it happens. It happens on the side of ARCA. It happens on the side of NASDAQ, Instanet, or Brute, or one of the other right, uh, routes. It could even happen on the New York Stock Exchange, which we've seen in the past. These things happen, and that's why we traded our own risk. We have all this wonderful direct access technology, and it, we use it to our benefit, but we also are taking the risk that something might go wrong. If something goes wrong somewhere, and you lose money, you pretty much don't have much recourse um, because that's the way the business works. And this is not only true with, with, with proprietary trading firms, it's uh, true with the, the big firms like the Meritrade, E-Trade, Scott Trade, and all the rest of them. Okay, uh, remote uh, trading only, meaning that uh, uh, Remora hires traders to trade remotely from the comfort of their personal location, whether you're at your business uh, or home or wherever. They don't have an actual on-site facility or facilities here in the U.S. or abroad uh, where people sit down and trade. Um, they used to in the past but it's become obsolete because people would rather trade from their personal locations. Disbursements are on the 15th of every month. What that means is this, if somebody wants to take out the profits that they made for December, they must let the firm know no later than December 31st so that they can get paid on January 15th. It's kind of like the firm needs two weeks notice to prepare that money and, and uh, withdraw it from wherever they need to withdraw it from and replace it with other funds to keep the balance of buying power for the large group and things of that nature. So 15th of the month, uh, it's a very, very strict rule and requests to take out money, even if you close your account and you want all your money back or whatever you got left uh, versus plus profits or less losses, um, you need to get your, your request in no later than the last day of the previous month, so you wait 15 days and you get it there. If somebody fails to do that, they send an email on the 5th of the month and say, hey, I want to get paid on the 15th, not happening. They will have to wait until February 15th in this scenario to get paid, okay? Moving on, symbol blocking and security protection. Meaning this, there are some times where you'll have a stock, say a pharmaceutical stock that's on very shaky ground on a Tuesday morning because there was some kind of an announcement that their pharmaceutical drug is killing people or whatever it might be. It's not confirmed to be true. It's not confirmed to be false. The stock is up and down and all over the place because of this news. The firm ha reserves the right to block that symbol from being traded. Uh, they feel it's too risky. It might be a threat to their company. So they could block symbols, uh, which they don't do very often, but just to let you know that you might try to trade a symbol and you get an error message saying this symbol is restricted. What that means is the the uh, the security uh, risk uh, protection department there um, had put a restriction on those symbols. Okay, moving on very quickly. Uh, the Elite Trader Pro used to be the prior company that they brought out. Um, Requirements, no license required. You're trading private funds that are not public money, meaning these are not moms and pops that invest their money into a fund and allow you to trade it. You need a license to do that, to trade the money that belongs to the public. When you're trading Remoris International's capital, it's their own private money. The owners of the company took money out of their own back pocket and they're taking a private risk to allow you to trade their funds, 
Therefore, you don't need a license, especially the fact that they're located and domiciled in the UK and they have different uh, set of rules there. Uh, minimum deposit is typically 5,000 because they like to have a little bit of a cushion. The, the, um, I say typically 5,000 because they do allow $3,000 of, of security collateral for you to put up and you can get started with as low as 3,000. But the problem is this, if you fall below $3,000, what happens is, is the, um, uh, the restrictions start coming in where uh, the 10% rule might become the 5% rule that we talked about earlier, the daily max loss rule. You may not have 10 times buying power, they might reduce it to six times buying power. Um, you know, it doesn't happen immediately, but, but you know, $3,000, is heading towards two thousand dollars and that's when it becomes very risky to give someone twenty thousand dollars of buying power of capital and they only have two thousand dollars in their account what if a, what if a stock gets halted and they're they're maxed out they have twenty thousand dollars in the position stock gets halted opens up you know 20 minutes later less than half of what it was the trader might lose three thousand dollars in one shot it's possible so they'll lose their 2000 plus a few thousand that belongs to the firm. That's why it's very, very risky to go below $3,000. And uh, that's why they typically ask for $5,000. So you have a little bit of a cushion there. Okay. Um, they could cancel any time before the end of the month. Um, uh, I'm sorry. You, the trader, could cancel your account if you decide that you don't want to trade anymore. Cancel any time before the end of the month to avoid fees. If somebody calls up on the 2nd or 3rd of January or February and say, you know what, I don't want to trade anymore, I want to close my platform, uh, and I want the rest of my funds back, um, that person is going to have to pay the entire month for the software fee. The software providers do not prorate. So if you quit on the 3rd, the 5th, or the 10th, whatever, you have a whole month, they will not reimburse you that that uh, money so if anybody wants to cancel you have to do it before the end of the month this way you don't get charged for the beginning of the next month okay um we went over that if anyone wants to quit any time you receive the remaining net sum of your collateral contribution including any profits you have sitting there or any losses and trading expenses we talked about all funds are dispersed on the 15th of the month. Requests must be made no later than the last day of the previous month. And anybody who wants more information um, or you want to request your funds uh, when it's time to quit, being that Sterling Capital Trader is like your concierge, we do all the support for you because Remora doesn't handle support and all that stuff. They're, they're a provider of capital and trading service services uh, and they, they it's not their specialty to hold people's hands and talk to them and walk them through installation of software and stuff. That's our job to do that. So they outsource it to us as a support uh, company. Um, and if anyone wants to withdraw their profits at the end of the month or they want to close their account, they can always send an email to uh, support at Sterling Capital Trader and we will pass on the request to Remora and take care of that for you. Um, trading activity reporting. Um, is something that comes, we talked about it briefly earlier, where at the, uh, at the end of the day, actually the next morning, it's not in real time, every morning your trading activity from the previous day is updated in the computer system. So in the morning you're able to see all the trades you did yesterday and the days before going back as many years as you've been there to see a daily report, weekly report of all your trading activity. Um, all trade details available, like I said earlier, meaning the timestamp of the trade, what route you used, commissions, cost fees, uh, ECN fees, things of that nature, the exchange fees, they're all uh, detailed. Uh, you can export your own reports. They don't send a monthly statement like it's old school where firms used to send a monthly statement in the mail uh, to, to show the pages and pages of people's trading activity. Remora does not do that. They allow you to log on and download your own monthly statements if you want to or just see them online and that information stays there forever. Um, at the end of the year, when you make all your profits, um, instead of paying capital gains taxes, which is enormous, especially here in the U.S., uh, you'll receive a 1099 as a subcontractor. 
This is the same 1099 that, say, a worker would get for painting your house. You know, it's that, or a construction worker, or any kind of worker who is an independent contractor. You get a 1099 at the end of the year. And that 1099 might say that, hey, you made X amount of dollars in, in revenue, in earned income, not capital gain, but personal income, which now opens up the ability for you to start writing off expenses towards that uh, uh, income. For example, your cell phone, your travel expenses, meals and entertainment, uh, computer equipment, software, internet. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So by the end of the year, um, if you could save uh, or document all your monthly costs, specifically that you may have paid on a credit card, of everything that could be trading related, you could use those as uh, expenses to write off against your your personal income at, at the end of the year, and that would reduce or even eliminate any tax liability entirely. It also helps if you develop some kind of an S corporation for yourself. You get much a bigger bang for your buck when it comes to expenses on that. We cannot provide that kind of uh, accounting advice, but it's something that you may want to look into is opening up an S Corp if you're here in the U.S. Remora is responsible to report their trading activity at the end of the year, meaning this. Typically, people who trade on their own at the end of the year, they have to give their accountant a long, long list of all their trades in going and outgoing, you know, by sales. Um, the accountant has to go through all of these numbers individually and report it uh, to the government. Being that you are not the owner of the master account, you're just a sub-account, you're a guest in the home, in someone else's home, you're, you're a subcontractor given allocation to trade someone else's money, you don't have to report every single detailed trade that you did at the end of the year. It's Remora's responsibility that they have to report at the end of the year. You're just a subcontractor who is paid uh, for your services as a trader, and that's the end of it. Uh, the money that you've made is uh, is ordinary income. The money that you may have lost is um, operating costs. That's how people uh, document it on their returns. It's operating costs. It's money that you put up for your your uh, your own personal uh, capital venture. Uh, the same way that a painter has to buy buckets of paint and all kinds of you know tools and equipment and pay employees to paint a home or a building. Uh, same thing with you. Uh, so your losses, your trading software fees, your ticket charges, all the expenses are considered operating expenses, and um, you, you get to use that as a write-off, okay? But it's not capital losses. For example, people may lose money at Scott Trade, e or Ameritrade, and have what they call capital gains or capital losses that they can hold over to the next year. In this respect, it's not capital losses, it's... Um, operating expenses or a loss of income and things of that nature, and you can talk to your accountant about that. Traders typically write off all their expenses, just like I uh, discussed, and they get a huge reduction on any taxes to at the end of the year. Level two direct access trading platforms is all we provide here at Sterling Capital, and Remora only uses them. Um, for those who don't know what direct access platform is by now, being that you've been through Melissa's courses, uh, you may want to do some research on that, but typically with direct access, you get to bypass um, the middleman, um, or many middlemen go directly to the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange to execute your orders, and you have real-time streaming uh, quotes. As you can see in this illustration, our platforms, the DOS, the Sterling, the TurboTick, are loaded with all kinds of studies and they're customizable. They have everything from stochastic indicators to Fibonacci retracements. I mean, very complicated stuff. It's my understanding that Melissa and most of our other instructors or education providers don't use that stuff. They want to keep it simple because keeping it simple is has been proven and tested to be the best way to day trade specifically. But, uh, but uh, nevertheless, these platforms are equipped and loaded with tons and tons of bells and whistles that you're never going to use. So they're kind of overqualified to have more things than you actually need. Trading execution costs. Das Trader Pro, $250 a month. TurboTick Pro, $250 a month. If you hold them side by side, they're pretty much 
uh, identical in features and functions. Cosmetically, they might have some similar, uh, some uh, subtle differences, but as far as functionality, execution, latency, slippage, uh, they are all top notch in all those departments. And, um, and if one chooses one over the other, uh, th th there's no th there's no specific feature that DOS has uh, that is superior to TurboTick and vice versa. They're pretty much the same, and um, and we provide the support for both of those. Uh, meaning support, meaning uh, uh, you know walkthroughs and teach you how to customize uh, your settings and and uh, set up your hot keys or shortcut keys, whatever you call them. Now the Sterling Trader Pro that is the Mercedes of the platforms out there. It's three ninety five a month, um, and it's loaded with more bells and whistles, but it's specifically for um, high frequency, high volume trading, expert traders of five plus years experience. Um, it is the kind of platform that pretty much never goes down because uh, it is expected that your platform will go down or crash or something like that, um, or the provider might crash or have a glitch on their end, you know, a few times a year, possibly maybe once or twice a month, more than a few times a year. It happens. Sometimes it requires you to close your platform, reboot it, and start it back up again. With Sterling Trader Pro, that number is reduced by a large margin. They very, very rarely have even the slightest hiccup in their quotes or in their system in any way. Um, and like I said, they're, they're primarily accommodate high volume, high frequency, fast traders uh, who need to get in and out within milliseconds many, many times per hour without a hiccup, without a hitch. Traders pay the greater of 0 .005 per share or 4.95 per ticket per order but not both. What that means is this. If you buy uh, 500 shares, or let's say 200 shares, it's 4.95 a ticket. Why? Because it's the greater of the 0 .005. See, if you did 0 .005 times 500 shares, it comes out to $2.50. Um, so the greater of the two is 4.95. But if you buy 3,000 shares, it will not be 4.95 it will be much more because it'll be 0 0.005 times 3,000 shares uh, plus the ECN costs and, and exchange fees. Typically, traders uh, do not put in orders of a single order for two or 3,000 shares. Um, in the day trading world, that's considered suicide in most cases, but um, uh, unless you're an absolute expert, um, but uh, that's the way it works. 0 0.005 per share, which is say $5 for 1,000 shares or $4.95 per ticket per order, but not both, one or the other. There are ECN route charges, and they're all pass-through, meaning unlike some of the other firms out there, Remora does not um, mark up the ECN fees or exchange fees. Uh, basically, they just pass it on to you. So if you use ARCA and they charge .0026 per share, which is $2.60 say $0.60 for 1,000 shares, that gets passed on to you. Um, uh, Remora does not mark it up. The rebates are also passed on to you. For those of you who know about removing liquidity or adding liquidity, uh, you would know that most routes will reward you for adding liquidity. They'll give you an actual rebate. They give you money. Instead of you paying them $2.50 for a 1,000 shares, they pay you like $1.50 or $1.80 for a 1,000 shares or more. Uh, it depends on which route you use, and that's something you may want to explore. Um, so that is all pass through. And if you let's just say you rack up, you know, a hundred dollars of rebate, ECN rebates by the end of the day or the week or whatever it is, uh, Remora will not touch that money. That money belongs to you. Ex exchange fees such as TAF, SEC, and there are some others. They're minuscule. They're like pennies per thousand shares. Uh, but they're all passed through, they're not marked up in any way, and uh, they're not tampered with. Low cost and free routes are available. For example, if you want to use Brute instead of Arca, they might offer a, a, a lesser charge on a particular trade. Um, and uh, there is EdgeX and EdgeJ that offer uh, a, a discounts or even a much better bank for your buck on rebate trading. So all of the routes are available. 
And uh, something that is not here in the PowerPoint that I need to add is shortable, the short list. Um, there are some clearing firms out there that are horrible when it comes to the short list for the day, meaning stocks that are high, highly desired to be shorted sometimes are not able to be shorted because the clearing firm doesn't have enough in their inventory to let short shorters borrow for the day. Um, Remora uses multi-clearing through different clearing firms. So if one clearing firm doesn't have the stock to short, another would. So you very, very rarely will ever have any problems with shorting stocks through Remora. Direct access trading platform. Uh, they're fully loaded with all the major chart studies. We covered that earlier. They have real-time level two streaming quotes. Time and sales window, of course, very important. Before and after market trading data. Level two data with total view. What total view means is you get all of the market makers and ECNs in your level two screen, and you can see deep levels to see what players are waiting online to buy and what play players are waiting online to sell. Yes, Melissa just says that the shorting access is important to her traders, and it's pretty much important to all day traders who know what they're doing. Uh, in, in, in my experience, and I've been doing this for almost 20 years now, I have to say that most intraday traders probably short more than 70 or 80% of the time versus going long. Um, I know this does fluctuate throughout the year, and throughout you know earning season, things like that, but overall, there's a hell of a lot more shorting going on than there is buying. Um, getting back to the slideshow, level two data with total view, it's very important that you see all the people standing online for, you know, metaphorically speaking, to buy the stock and the, who's waiting online to sell it or short it. Uh, you get all of the primary routes, uh, which is NASDAQ, New York, Brute, ARCA, EDGE, EDGEX. Uh, this this uh, PowerPoint is a little outdated. There are lots more that are important, but uh, the list goes on and on. I think they, they all have about maybe 10 or more um routes and uh, they also have dark pools for those of you who know what dark pools are uh, they're also available as well uh, the platforms have the major indices such as the Dow Jones S&P the Russell the, the comp the list goes on and on and professional charting tools like we spoke about earlier and all the car all of the charts and studies and everything's pretty much customizable every which way possible to your liking and um, and uh, you'll be able to kind of set it up to your personal preference with uh, a lot of ease. It doesn't take a college course for you to study tons of material and how to, you know, modify it. It's very simplistic. Plus, we are here to walk you through it over the phone. Uh, programmable short keys, uh, that's important to a lot of traders, and they're very easy to do as well on the Sterling, the DOS, and the TurboTick. Um, for those of you who want to uh, get started, say if you wanted to do the sponsorship and you wanted to uh, find out more about Remora Capital, what's in, get started with opening up a trader ID with them and trading their capital, um, you simply visit the, don't do it now because I want you to pay attention here, we're going to do this after. And I'm going to, uh, Melissa, if you're listening in, why don't you go ahead and just type it, www.sterlingcapitaltrader ltd.com in the chat room. Um, make sure you spell it right because it's a mouthful, that, that URL. Um, when you people are ready to get started, this is how you do it. You go to the website up at the top. You could click our services and choose the thing at the bottom. <laughs> no, Melissa, it's not right. It's that Sterling Trader LTD. It's Sterling Capital Trader. You forgot the word capital. <laughs> um, no worries. Okay, so back to the screen. If you want to, uh, you could just go to our services and choose the last one, proprietary trading services. Or on the home screen, if you see that yellow arrow down here, you just click on trader sponsorship and employment opportunities. It's the same thing. It's 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 uh, proprietary trading is what we talked about before when you get hired as a subcontractor and they sponsor you, meaning that they put up capital for you to trade. You know, remember we talked about that 50000 or 100000 That's called sponsorship or employment, and that's the way they word it there. Um, and for those of you who want to uh, – wait, let's go back. Oh, yeah, so once you do that and you click on that, 
uh, the proprietary trading or the sponsorship tab. It takes you to the um, the proprietary trading registration form. So you just simply enter all your information there, hit submit. It goes to Sterling Capital. We pass it on to Remora. Remora goes ahead and sends you the agreement forms. I think it's about 10 pages where you could read more about their all their little stipulations and further instructions on how to get started. Another thing I wanted to go to is the software demo trial. I didn't make a slide specifically for it, but it's the one in the middle. If you see that the, uh, if, I don't know if you could see, yeah. If you could see my mouse swirling around software demo, if you click that one, you will see the list of uh, Sterling, TurboTech, and DOS. Again, DOS is not available, and I'll go into why in just a moment, so we'll hold that for later because I did see a question in that. Um, but the TurboTech is the one that we've been using for the past few months. It's in high demand. The, uh, the TurboTech, like I said, is equally as, as robust and efficient as the, as the uh, uh, DOS. Um, in fact, there are a lot of DOS traders that had switched over to TurboTech a few months ago, starting back in October, and uh, they like it. They want to stay. They don't want to go back to uh, DOS anymore. So I would suggest that everybody download the DOS, I'm sorry, the TurboTech, uh, if you want to take a two-week trial and you could practice trade with fake money and all that kind of stuff. If you got... If you're the kind of person who wants to pay a little extra for Sterling, you could download the Sterling there as well simply by register for, uh, registering for it. And, um, yeah, so we went through that, changing the screen, waiting for it to load up on your side. There we go. Okay, subcontractor trader agreement forms. They come to you in a PDF form from Remora. They are fillable. It's back in the day... Remora and a lot of other companies would send out a PDF file with five or ten agreements, and you'd have to print it, complete it by hand, scan it, or even fax it in. No more. Uh, Remora now <laughs> and most other companies have the fields that are fillable on the PDF file. So you open the, you download the PDF file, make sure you save it to your computer, fill in the fields one by one, and make sure you save it. A lot of people get to the bottom. They complete all the information, and then they close it, forget to save it, and they have to go do it all over again. And then they try to email the unsaved document, we, and, and we get a blank document or blank agreements. Make sure you complete it, save it to your computer, then close it, um, and, uh, and then go ahead and email the saved file. It does not work on your cell phone. People try to complete it on their cell phone or their tablet or device and try to send it that way, it doesn't work. For some reason, it doesn't save. You gotta do it from your PC or a Mac. Uh, fillable fields, save before closing, email the forms back to us. Once you email the completed forms, you get a confirmation email, you know, within a reasonable amount of time, within a few hours or a day, um, and then you get more instructions on what to do further. And then after you get those instructions, you proceed to send your funds by wire, to the wire instructions provided in the agreement forms. And then you receive your installation and logon credentials uh, for the TurboTech or the Sterling within 24 to 48 hours and you're off to the races and you're, you're operational and ready to go. So that's pretty much it. I wanna thank you all for attending. I am gonna stay here for a little bit and answer some questions. Again, the, the uh, link uh, is Sterling Capital. Yes, she got it right this time, Melissa. Sterling Capital Trader Ltd. Um, dot com. Our Skype address is trader.network1 for those who want to Skype uh, chat requests and, and that kind of thing. Um, I didn't put the phone number here because we don't want an avalanche of people calling. We would rather you do it from the website and, and do it online and email us and then we will call you, you know, in, in uh, first come first serve, you know, in that particular order. Okay, so let me go back. I don't see many questions here. Only uh, Joe asks, what's the problem with DOS? There is no problem with DOS. It's just that the clearing firm right now is uh, getting set up with back testing or have been setting up and have back tested to Sterling and the TurboTick is a priority and the DOS is still in their, I think their second or third week of practice trades with many traders. 
uh, using that product that's real money. It's just that they're doing uh, a lot of high volume frequency trading, black box stuff, uh, things that don't involve you, and uh, it hasn't passed the test yet. Once it passes the test, then it will be uh, it will be available to the public. Are there any other costs than the monthly software fees and the actual trade costs? At this time, there are not. Um, but uh, but there have been some talks that sometime in the future they may implement a twenty five dollar a month maintenance fee they call it, and that is to provide the salary for the girls that work at the risk department and the and the guys who work in uh, uh, the trade support things of that nature um, because uh, uh, they they put in a lot of hours and also uh, the the capital allocation to pay. For the the fifty thousand or hundred thousand uh, dollar allocated, you know, let's call it credit line that's extended to you every day, um, that's getting expensive from the providers as well, and they feel that twenty five dollars a month for a fifty or a hundred grand is a big bargain. Um, so that answers that question for Ranch Trader, and I answered Joe's. Uh, well, by the way, Joe, the, the DOS trader will be coming back. We're expecting it in the next uh, few weeks. It was supposed to be December uh, 15, then it was pushed to January 1st, and now they're pushing it to uh, uh, maybe uh, January 20th or possibly February 1st. Again, it's not done passing all of the high-volume, high-frequency black box trading tests. It may pass, certainly pass the test for you and I to trade, uh, but again, they're not going to release it, just like NASA will not launch a rocket until it's absolutely 100% guaranteed it's going to work. What's the first tier of trading volume? That would kind of discount per share. Um, typically, it starts at a million shares or more a month. We'll start to reduce uh, a million shares or more a month. will reduce your ticket charges uh, and per share costs. Uh, and then I think it's two million. After that, it's two million shares and above. Lower, more three million shares. So it goes in one million share intervals, from what I believe. Now, uh, 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 Bob, the, the, I also want to add that. Um, and see, this is why it's tricky. Uh, the 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 let's call the window price is what we spoke about before four ninety five a trade or point zero zero five per share, whichever is greater. However, there are some traders out there that do have a trading style where they um, they work themselves into a position of say a 500 or 1,000 shares in multiple trades, they do 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100 at a time to scale in and 100, 100, 100, 100, 100 scaling out. Well, if you're the kind of trader that trades like that or even close to it to build up a 500 or 1,000 share position in the stock and you're doing uh, like five or eight trades to get in it and five and eight trades to get out well it would be absurd for you to pay 4.95 a trade for all of those trades scaling in and out it would make sense it would cost you 50 60 dollars a round trip you know in a particular position so if somebody has a history of of high volume trading in that capacity we will certainly absolutely 100 percent work with you on a per share basis and up the per share to say 0 0.008 per share. So we'll work with you in order to make it reasonable and doable. Because again, we want you to make money because specifically Remora wants you to make money because they want that little 5% of your profits at the end of the month. They want you to make 10 grand a month so they could make $500 from each trader, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the month or whatever it is. So, so, so the more money you make, the more money you keep, uh, the more money they make. And plus, they want you to stay for a while. They don't want you to burn out your account and commissions, costs and fees in two months, for Christ's sakes. You know, they want you to be around for the next 20 years. So they will certainly work with you, uh, and it's on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, and uh, and vice versa. There are other traders out there. Um, again, it doesn't apply to you, but it's important that I get it out there. There are traders that like to buy five and 10,000 shares of stock at one time. Typically low price stock uh, based on around eight to 10 bucks. Um, 0 0.005 per share times 5,000 shares is astronomical. Again, it's like $50 in and $50 out. 
uh, those people will also be worked with the opposite of what I said before, where they'll pay a flat fee of, say, eight bucks a trade, or, uh, and uh, they could uh, buy up to a certain amount of shares, and it will not be per share. So Remora will certainly work with you, and it's up to us at Sterling Capital as your support person. Um, uh, it's up to us to provide the support and hold your hand and walk you through everything and make sure everything is on the up and up. Yes, uh, Ranch Trader, the split is 95% of your profits to you and 5% to the firm. And this is not etched in stone, meaning that we could even see if we can negotiate based on individual traders to get it even better where the trader keeps like 98% and the firm keeps two. Uh, this is specifically goes out to traders who have a long history, a long track record of making money every day. Traders like Melissa or uh, traders like Mike DeJoy and other people out there who are, you know, they make a thousand, uh, 500 to a thousand dollars a day in some cases. They are not going to give up 5% of that to the firm. It's not happening. Uh, traders that have five plus years experience. So we will negotiate for you on your behalf, uh, on, uh, on a case by case basis. Okay. Any other questions before I run? Okay. So once again, um, I thank you. Uh, thank everyone for attending. Check out that sterlingcapitaltrader.com website. Register online. There are some forms. The site is still under re being refurbished. Uh, so not all of the pages have a uh, registration form. But the two that are most important, the Stock Trader Employment Proprietary Trading page, Fill that out, get your agreement form so you can look into it, and click on where the software demos are and download that Turbo Tick. This way you get yourself a demo and you can play around with it. And you will receive our phone number and an email, and you can call us, and we'll walk you through everything and provide all the support. Melissa, I thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to, uh, to speak in your room and do the presentation. Please keep me in mind to do this again and again, maybe once a month or whenever, how often you'd like. And... Um, and uh, I thank you. Uh, I thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to put my uh, email address before I sign out in the room. It's support at sterlingcapitaltrader.com. Boom. Thank you, Bob. And uh, thanks, everyone else, for listening in. I'm uh, going to mute my microphone uh, or log off, and I welcome you all to email or contact me directly. Thank you so much, and have a great day.